Right here, you're looking at a classroom beating caught on camera in Northern California. A teacher's aide has been arrested after she was seen hitting a young child with special needs. Crime Siders Graham Cates has been looking into the case. Graham, we're looking at this video uh, and it's sort of grainy, so explain exactly what happened in this classroom. It's really shocking footage. Uh, that's Camel Jot Cora, police say. She's a teacher's aide at this school called Tobin World 2. It uh, specializes in uh, kids who have issues with uh, emotional and, uh, and cognitive um, abilities. And uh, what you can see in the video, actually at one point you see two people holding this child who's That's nine years old. now, right? Yeah. And uh, she strikes him, you can see it. And then at a different point, you can see her kind of tackle him. And at one point it looks like someone appears to throw milk or some other liquid at him. Uh, police reviewed this video after it was posted online and uh, she's been suspended. She was arrested and charged with felony child abuse. Another staffer who was in that room was also suspended. Uh, and, and right now, kind of, uh, if you look on their Facebook page for Toad World, lots of parents who are kind of really shocked, who, who are saying, we can't believe this is happening at our school. Well, that's what the parents are saying, though, but you've learned that this isn't the first time that the staff at this school um, has been accused of hitting students. That's right. In 2014, there was actually a federal lawsuit by a parent of another nine-year-old boy, and the allegations were really disturbing. She said that the, uh, the child was knocked to the ground, actually that her, his uh, legs were kicked out from under him, and that he uh, had a, a bloody nose after that. But instead of treating the nose, that a staffer actually sat on his back and made him lie there for 15 minutes without moving before they would let him get up. And now that case was dismissed, but uh, if, you, if you look at the, uh, the case documents, it wasn't dismissed necessarily because they were saying this didn't happen. It was mm. just because there wasn't enough evidence really to, to prove that it had happened. So what happens next? Uh, right now, in the case of Camel Jack Core, they're going to take this to court. Um, but it's also, uh, things are beginning to, to kind of get a little dicey for Tobin World. It's a, there's a three private schools that are kind of connected with the public school system there. Uh, earlier this year, actually, sorry, 2015, uh, they had their ability to accept new students suspended briefly, briefly because it came out that uh, the school was associated with a guy named Matthew Israel, who was very controversial because he um, at one point was associated with uh, shock therapy for students who have cognitive issues. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Graham Cates, thank you for following up on this. Appreciate it. Remember, you can track investigations just like this and read up on the big crime stories of the day at cbsnews.com slash crimesider.